Hello there. Today I've been tasting the wines of um, Mont Rendon, who are a large and high quality Chateauneuf du Pep producer. So we're in the Southern Rhone. Uh, I've been tasting these with um, Pierre Fabre, their part owner and winemaker. Um, this is the 2019 Chateauneuf du Pape Blanc. Um, I find this a fascinating wine, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, it's a blend um, principally of Grenache, 55%, with um, Claret making up another 30%. Um, then there's some Roussan, about 10%, and the balance is uh, Pickpool, so to give some freshness and acidity, um, and a little bit of Boubelenc, which evidently gives it more sort of richness and roundness and has quite an interesting sort of um, fruit characteristic. So the wine is um, hand harvested, um, and uh, is matured with no oak, so um, in stainless steel tanks, it's ferm fermented nations in uh, stainless steel tanks, they block malolactic conversion, and so there's a lovely fresh aromatics to it. So let's let's have a look at the wine, shall we? Um, Colour is a medium yellow, there may be a slight hint of green in it. Um, it's a 14% wine, so unsurprisingly there are tears starting to form quite readily on the glass. Um, Let's have a look at the aromas. And the aromas, Pierre was suggesting this to me. He was saying that the wine has a sort of a Riesling-esque um, sort of style. And certainly there's a sort of a really so sort of limey and lime blossom sort of note that you'd expect to see from a, a Riesling. Probably more the sort of the heading slightly towards a petroly note that you might get with a Clare Valley Riesling from Australia or something like that. But um, nonetheless, quite vividly aromatic. Um, so let's have a taste. The wine's completely dry, so it's, it's not like an elegant uh, Moselle Riesling, for instance. And it's structural. There's quite a sort of a, quite a drying as well as dry structure side to the thing. That, uh, there's a sort of almost marzipan note, a rich, um, a sort of slightly velvety structure but the fruit element is again it's that sort of riesling limey sort of note um there's good acidity there's freshness there's a roundness to the finish where there's um as i say that 14 percent alcohol is it's actually matched by the fruit so it's not coming across as being particularly hot at the finish but then there's a sort of a quite, quite a saline and slightly iodine quality coming through there and and if, if I'm remembering correctly I think Pierre was saying that that, that is a um, uh, quality of the bubulenk in there um, so it's, it, it's quite a, uh, almost a sort of a crushed seashell sort of iodine sort of note at, at the finish there that makes it quite distinctive and that sort of peaks up the liminess on the finish as well so I think that's a lovely wine uh, clearly a wine to age for two or three years to allow the uh, aromas to come out and uh, the fruit to really show itself but um, yeah I, I found that really exciting and really interesting so thank you for watching if you found this interesting please feel free to like and share and hopefully you'll join us again bye now